Apex Championship Wrestling now loading. Apex Championship Wrestling now loading. Loading, 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 loading. Matt Asadar. He is Braden Carson, and Jamal Travis is making his way down to the ring as we speak. As on his mind. A little bit of a challenge to get here. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to ACW. If you don't know me by now, my name is The Phenomenal Jamal Travis. I want you guys to remember that name because that's going to be in your head all night long. I know it. Uh, So I heard there's like a challenge coming up. Somebody, I mean, I, I just want to come out here, you know, to the best show on Tuesday Night Wrestling in Second Life. And and I, I wanna know what's what's forward here. I, I wanna know what comes next. <laughs> well, that's all fine and good, Mr. Travis. I'm glad you're honored to be a part of Apex Championship Wrestling. But see, this isn't a political party. You weren't hired to make French, you were hired to wrestle. And that's exactly what you're going to do now. In fact, meet your opponent. Nah, man, I, I beat this guy for this. No problem at all. It looks like I'm taking it easy on me. privy to the information that we were earlier that this would in fact be a triple threat match but he has just been told and his next opponent has been introduced Mr. Kyle Strange making his return down to the ring after being victorious. I'll try this here tonight. I'm just liking that the fans are into it. It's a little sound. It's better than it being dead and quiet and the only thing you're hearing is me running my big mouth. Yeah, I don't think people like that too much, not do that. I don't know, I think they might. They came back there last week, so not too bad, I guess. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first from Houston, Texas, standing 6 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 280 pounds, Mr. Jamal Travis and one of his two opponents from Hollywood, Los Angeles, California, standing... Six feet, four inches tall, weighing 245 pounds, Mr. Hollywood. And finally, the third of the three from Providence, Rhode Island. Standing at six feet, four inches, weighing in at 215 pounds, the strange one, Mr. Kyle Strange. Braid, any final thoughts before the bell rings and we get ACW Sabotage? underway you know as I say here look at the stat card Jamal Travis has definitely got size over the two so he's definitely got the advantage here tonight but I, I do believe in Hollywood I think he's got this one in the bag no doubt he, 
He comes right out of the gate with a huge clothesline going right after Kyle Strange, knocking him down into the middle. But oh, Jamal, but Jamal comes Travis. right back. Yes, he does. He heard you right there. Hollywood comes out strong, and Jamal gives him a taste of his own medicine with a clothesline of his own. But as you said, Jamal is bigger than these two men. Hollywood and Kyle are the same height. But Strange goes oh, up with a nice kick. drop kick. Must have learned that from you, Braden. You teach him that? That's a pretty nice drop kick. I teach everyone. That's just how I am. I am the greatest after all. You're so giving, right? I mean, you're just, you're the greatest, right? I am the greatest ever. I guarantee now, you that. Jamal easing his way back up, but Hollywood walks in, lifts up Kyle right across his body, throws him back over his Ooh, the shoulder. follow away slam. Nice, nice moves. A lot of action here early in this match. Hollywood back to away. Kyle weighing down. In the middle of the ring, and Jamal kind of regaining himself after the big drop kick, but right there, a knee to the gut as Hollywood cross goes up, reaches over, scoop slam. Jamal using and that size right there. You see that? And size and strength right there. So That's definitely lifts. a typical big man right there. Definitely, definitely using the size over his opponents. Yep, lifting Hollywood up and throwing him right down across Kyle, who's still laying down in the middle of the ring. Right there, Jamal tosses Hollywood into the ropes. Hollywood bounces into the ropes, into the corner. Kind of catches himself, though, when Jamal comes off the ropes, right back across, right over to Hollywood. Close the line, knocking him right over the ropes. Knocking Mr. Hollywood down to the mat outside. The small little protection in back cannot feel good, Brady. You have been throwing that, down outside. Kind of really yeah, definitely. Up. Does not feel good, that's for sure. But Jamal Your back hits that mat outside, it, it hurts. Not really forgiving. It's not really forgiving. No, not Jamal well. goes in, hooks the leg, goes for an early pin. One, two, Hank coming down for a three, and Kyle's able to kick out. But Jamal smartly, he throws Hollywood out of the ring and now turns his attention fully on to Kyle Strange. Jamal looks to be official to the referee, not really by that, but right there, Kyle no, Brown rolls, him up. rolls him up. One, two, Hank comes down, kicks out at the last second. Kyle's Jamal's definitely got to be careful for that speed. He's got to be careful. He is a bigger the, man. Jamal's got the size. He's got the strength. But these guys are very athletic in the ring with him right now. Definitely. So Jamal is getting some love from the fans right now as him and Kyle lock up. But Hollywood over in the corner here next to right to our right, climbing his way up to the top turnbuckle. As, right as Jamal and Kyle are lined up held together, locked it up in the middle of the ring and Hollywood has big things on his mind as he's sitting there and he's waiting Kyle and Jamal continually locked up into the middle of the ring and Hollywood just waiting for his opportunity to come flying off he does, comes flying in with the knee drop right oh. there yeah, Hollywood's got to be careful of that though you see how he's favoring that knee yes he is, it's like he hurt himself there you see him with a flying knee drops both down right to the back of Jamal, knocking him down, knocking Kyle down as well. But like you said, definitely favoring that that uh, that right knee as uh, as he crashed down into the ring. So now all three men down in the middle. Hollywood goes for Hollywood the pin. Reaches over, gets his hand over Kyle. One, two, hand comes down, but Kyle kicks out. Two. Two men that he put down going for the victory here relatively early in this match. But you have Jamal down, you have Kyle down, and Mr. Hollywood just a heap in the middle of this ring. They got to keep Jamal down, though, because if he gets the advantage, he's definitely going to be bigger. So, yeah. so they got to stay on him no matter what. The well, one thing that we did see out of Kyle is that he faced JW, who's one of the bigger men in the ACW right now, and he was able to defeat him last week. So going up against a bigger man is not something that Kyle Strange, even though he's only had one match in here with us, he's not, it's nothing new for him to face off against a guy who's significantly larger than him. And we know Hopper right, has the experience. There's, there's also two other opponents in there with him, so he's definitely got to be careful. Exactly. Hollywood grabs from the mall, throws him into the corner. Kyle makes his way up to one knee. Hollywood has his eyes set right on Jamal, leaned up in the corner. You wonder what he has on his mind, leans back. Kyle down on one knee, and Hollywood is seemingly taking his time. Jamal is getting to have a rest. Everybody just kind of hanging out right now. Kind of regaining Hollywood, come on, you can't do that. You got to stay on him. Oh, oh with that kick right to there. the face. Welcome to Hollywood, big boot right to the head. But Kyle, Kyle right behind Hollywood. 
Nice chop block taking them down. Kyle sat back, wait, waited, let Hollywood deliver the big boot. Welcome to Hollywood, right to the face of Jamal Travis. And then Kyle comes in and capitalizes, showing very good intelligence in the ring right now. Kyle's definitely got the advantage right now. Looks yes, like he's going to go after Hollywood. Down on one knee, crawling his way over to the middle of the ring where Hollywood is. Instead of going for the pin, he lifts him up. He went what he has in mind. Goes for a wrist lock, whipping Hollywood around. Jamal making his way up to his feet right now in the corner. Going to have an opportunity to rest here as Kyle throws Hollywood off of the ropes. Kyle backs out. Hollywood hits the ropes, comes right back into the middle of the ring. Kyle backs over to the corner as well. Jamal comes crashing again and goes for the spear on Hollywood. Knocking Hollywood, yeah, it was to the Hollywood with that spear. That's him using his size, though. Those yes, massive right. shoulders, once they definitely hit the turn on Mario, it's, it doesn't feel good. Trust me, I've been there. And one thing that we know is that Jamal likes those maneuvers. He likes the spear. You know, he likes those types of moves. What he does right there is Kyle throws Hollywood off of the ropes. Kyle, as soon as Kyle. Goes Hollywood off the ropes. Jamal's been chilling over in the corner for a little bit, taking a knee, taking a rest. He sees Hollywood coming at him. He hits him with the spear and then separates Kyle away from him. And right now he's going on the attack against Kyle. Jamal is a man who loves to impose his will against his opponents. Throws and Kyle right now we're corner. getting a perfect example of that. Yes, he is. Right into the corner. Jamal leaned him right up. He's laughing at him. Shoulder thrust right into the... Right into the midsection. Two times... Jamal using that size, all that weight, like you said, the broad shoulders getting him square and putting him right into the midsection of Kyle right now. Reaches behind the back of the neck of Kyle and pulls him into the middle of the ring. Hollywood still laying favor in his midsection from the huge spear, almost separated in half by Jamal earlier. Now Jamal puts his arm over, lifts up. Kyle straight into the air, showing the strength. In the first second, and first a suplex drops him right down. You see that strength right there. Phenomenal. Oh, that is phenomenal, Jamal Travis. Jamal goes over to the corner. Hollywood's been able to rest for a few moments. Kyle down in the middle. You wonder what Jamal has on his mind here. He's waiting for it. He's looking. He is baiting Kyle. He's waiting for Kyle to get up. But also remember that Hollywood is over here in this other corner. He might just be waiting for the opportunity to hit with something big here. Playing possum. Exactly. Perfect. That's what you want to do in these matches. Kyle gets up. Jamal comes charging in. He goes in for the spear. He misses. And right there, Kyle runs up off of the ropes. Rebound crossbody, and he takes Jamal Travis Perfect speed, out. perfect speed. We've seen that Jamal tried to run to get, get that spear in, but Kyle's speed was just too quick for him. Kind of olayed him right there. Hit off of the ropes, came back off. Rebound crossbody, connect, and he puts the big man down. He comes sliding in the Shining Wizard. Hollywood still over here in the corner, taking his time. Whether you like Hollywood or whether you don't, one thing you have to give him is that he is a very intelligent fighter in the ring. Now, I can't say outside of the ring, but in the ring, he's very intelligent. He takes, you know, those those little opportunities that you give him to rest or, you know, if, if somebody gets distracted, he capitalizes on those opportunities all of the time. So this is kind of playing right into his hands as Kyle goes all or nothing off of the ring. Oh, and a huge oh, elbow oh. drop. And the crowd responds with all the action going on in the middle of the ring. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first of four. We have Hollywood, we have Kyle Strings, we have Jamal Travis, we have Jamal on the ground, and Kyle giving all the offense to the big man. Kyle now lifting up Jamal. Jamal knee to the face, front face lock, and he's going there working on the neck right in the middle of the ring jamal showing yes you hit a lot of big moves on me now he lifts him up holds him straight over jack hammer and he throws him down right into the center of the ring oh my God. and kyle strange is out right in the middle of the ring hollywood still having an opportunity to sit in the corner and rest hollywood's got to get up it's get after him. Hollywood. Hooks the leg one two coming down for three and hollywood breaks it up Playing possum, that's exactly what's, what's happening. Hollywood is yeah. flashing, he's from Hollywood. Yep, he knows what he's doing. You gotta vote for this guy. He's every man's dream, is to be 
flashy. I don't know if he's ever Hollywood. mainstream. See, you're a dream Braden. It's I didn't mean it like that. Get your mind out of the gutter, Matt. Well, that's how you said it. That's how you said it. I didn't mean it like that. Right. I that's said it. That's how everybody here took it. Everyone is now booing. Well, and Hollywood. everybody else in here is stupid, so, I mean, <laughs> obviously. Oh, man. Braden has strange dreams. But Hollywood now standing as he took that opportunity playing possum as you said he rested up. He went and he broke it up. Huge jackhammer deliver from Jamal. And why is Hollywood just standing there when he needs to be on the attack right now after breaking up the near fall? Hollywood now lifting up Jamal because Kyle is definitely out of this for a little while. Huge jackhammer connected from Jamal and looked all but over until Hollywood came in at the last second. Drop the fist down, throws Jamal into the ropes. Jamal comes back into the middle of the ring. Hollywood right there waiting for him, lifts him up, holds him up on top of his shoulders. Fire man carries, sent on hits. And Kyle hits up at the same time, dropping down to one knee. He's Hollywood got the big man down. Kyle's up on his feet. Pin. One, two, and Kyle comes in, breaking it up at the last second, almost a near fall again. able to find strength and resolve in the final moments right there as Hollywood was going for the pin and he's able to break it up as Steve Boston Jamal starting to make his, way, make his way to his feet yep Jamal using the ropes to help himself up Kyle now needled right next to Hollywood now lifting Hollywood up and Jamal setting over against the ropes taking him a breather as well Kyle lifting Mr. Hollywood in the middle of the ring Lifts up Hollywood, slams him down and holds down for the pin, the Phoenix suplex. No, but Hollywood reverses it into the DDT, it looks like. Yeah. Kyle had him lifted up over his head. It was starting to push him backwards, but then Hollywood's able to get his arm around the head and pull the head of Kyle Strange back down, reversing what would have been a huge move, but instead it puts the face of Kyle Strange in the middle of the mat, and now Mr. Hollywood sits avoiding near disaster there as Kyle looked to be going to finish this match off. Now Hollywood on the attack lifting up Kyle, but Jamal leaning up against the ropes just taking his sweet time. Hollywood Irish whips Kyle to the corner. But they got to look out for Jamal. Jamal is up on his feet. They got to keep that man down. He's huge. Yep, he has now leaned back up off of the rope, so you know that Jamal is ready. Hollywood sitting there looking at Kyle. Everyone seems to just be taking a break right now, but Jamal starting to move around against the ropes over there, and Hollywood making his way in there to Kyle. Sets him up on the top rope. You wonder what Hollywood has in mind. Back the ropes and down into the barricade outside. Very creative for Mr. Hollywood, diving over that spear. Yep. See how flashy yep. that was? Didn't that describes Mr. Hollywood. Yep. All show. Didn't sidestep. Instead, just takes his hand, puts it on Jamal's head, and jumps over him. And now, Kyle is still set up on the turnbuckle over on the top rope. And Mr. Hollywood standing up in the middle of the ring. And Jamal, as we said, going for the spear. And Hollywood jumped over him, crashes through the ropes down to the mat below and crashing into the steel barricade. Fans over there getting up close and personal with Jamal. And right there as Kyle Strange comes crashing in. Comes flying in for a crossbody, but Hollywood catches him. Catches him, flips him over, and he hits him with a screen tag. Oh, this is, it's, it's over. It's over. That's going to be it, Mr. Hollywood. If he can get down for the pin here, he catches him, puts his foot on his chest, holds his arms up. One, two, three, and, and I told Mr. You. Hollywood. I told everyone. Hollywood's got this one in the bag, and what happened, he pulled out with the win. Kyle standing up on the top rope. He was waiting. Hollywood turns. Kyle comes off the rope with a flying cross body. Hollywood catches him, turns him right into the screaming head, puts him to sleep, sends him one. Lanata, and that match comes to you right now. Fight.
ready, you have to be passionate, you have to be dedicated, you have to be motivated. And I think these women definitely have those tools. So they have to dig deep inside to find, you know, be ready for it. Now, his favorite part of these women's matches, he told me that um, as I was heading out here to the ring. So you have Kaylin, you have Kimberly Lenata, you have Jersey versus Japan, and it is going to be an interesting one to say the least. The bell has been rung. And the match is underway. Both women in a stare contest, staring each other down right in the middle of the ring. Kimberly is saying, show me why I came to America. And Kaylin comes in with a nice combo punch right, left, right, right to the face of Kimberly. Kimberly tells her, show me why I'm in America. And she gives her a little bit of America right there. Three nice punches. But Kimberly comes right back with a big forearm smash. And they lock up in the middle of the ring. Kimberly goes right into the Kimberly Lenata looking to be very lengthy, though. That's something that could work out in her advantage, being very lengthy to have the reach advantage. So there's there's a three inch difference between them. Kaylee comes off the ropes, comes back in, and a spinning back kick from Kimberly. We know she is very very agile, and right there she used mark. it to her advantage. That was that was beautiful. There's no other way to put that. That was perfectly timed and flush to the face of Kaylin knocking her down to the ground. Had to be impressive for you, Braden. Very impressive. I'm a huge fan of martial arts, so when I seen that kick, it was definitely, you know, definitely surprising. And Kaylin is one of those fighters. She, she likes to get on top of you and go, 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 go. Right there with a nice drop kick right to the midsection. Couldn't quite get up to the face, but she does hit her right to the chest and knocks Kimberly down to the ground. And right there with a stomp right to the chest as well, attacking the midsection and chest area of Kimberly Lenata right now. Kaylin standing on top. Stomp after stomp after stop, showing that spinning back kick was not well received. And now she tries to run over toward the rope. Kaylin, seems to she's very up. fierce. She's very fierce, as we just seen right there with those stomps. Yeah. Look at her. Looks kind of like a witch. I don't know what that is. Goes down for the quick pin. It's not going to be enough. One. And it's only going to be a one count right there. So he is able to kick out. A little early in the match and no real big moves in store to uh, to go for the quick pin there. But Kaylin goes right back on the attack as she lifts Kimberly up now in the middle of the ring. Kimberly goes in with a nice forearm smash and a headbutt and right back into a forearm smash and another headbutt. Nobody wins with those. I don't I don't get I don't get people who headbutt. You don't win. You know, people are, you know, become desperate, you know, just to hurt someone. And that's yeah. one of those moves. They kind of can knock you out at the same time. But Kimberly gets Kayla in the corner, sets her up like a punching bag, and right there with three strong rights, right to the right to the Smacking mid-second. her head off the corner, turn but Turns her around, yes, and smacks her head and goes right to a front face. Like like we said, these women are very technical, very fast. And we're seeing that right now. She set her up like a punching bag, popped her into the stomach a few times, turned her around, slammed her head, went right to a front face lock, and is now pulling Kayla into the middle of the ring. Very, very impressive work very very um impressive work as i was saying from kimberly lenata right now it's very technically sound right there with the knees right to the face over and over and over and right there into the crash from star. Very nice combo from kimberly a lenata. swinging neck breaker connects right there pulling kaylin down right into the middle of the ring, a beautiful swinging net breaker just kind of glided under that one and pulled her straight down. I like that. I like the swinging net breaker. One of my favorite moves. Goes Kimberly the going pin. for the pinch. Only two. But it would be four, I guess. I don't know. One, two, two, one, one. Steve's giving us freaking code over here. Gets up. Hey, he might be jumped. Never might know be, what that uh, man. Two, one. One, two, say your alphabet for us backwards, please. Steve, we need to be doing that to you what? Um, prior to every match. But anyways, a uh, two count there and a very nice flurry from Kimberly as she backs out. Kaylin makes her way up to her feet, but Kimberly goes right back onto the attack. And Kaylin hits her with a nice leg 
with a nice drop kick. Excuse me. Kimberly you. took way too much time. Way too much time. And Kaylin definitely took the advantage with that drop kick. Very nice. Yes, she did. Kaylin coming in now. Nice stomp right to the midsection. It's still attacking the midsection of Kimberly. Kaylin reaches down, lifting her up. Both women right in the middle of the ring. Irish whip throws her into the ropes. Kimberly coming back. Kaylin right in the middle of the ring, waiting for Kimberly goes for Close underneath the clothesline. Kaylin goes for a clothesline. Kimberly goes up under it and kind of grabs onto the ropes at the last second. Kaylin runs out. Kaylin goes back to the corner, climbs up to the top. Kimberly turns around, kind of dazed, grabbing onto her head. Drop kick might have knocked a little bit out of her. Kaylin's sitting up at the top, and she's waiting. She comes flying in for a flying cross body, and it does connect. And she bounces down, and she goes up to the top over to the other corner and makes her way over to the top of there as well. Are we going for the four corners? Kaylin gets up, climbs to the top. Kimberly's up, turns around, facing right toward her. Kaylin comes climbing in right there with a nice splash. Very nice. Kaylin gets right back up on her feet, finding this adrenaline, finding this energy from somewhere. Kimberly down on the ground. Kaylin is up now, coming off of two corners right down with a nice crossbody and a nice splash. Not going to test it again. Goes for the pin. Hooks the leg, hands down. One, two, coming down for three, and Kimberly is able to kick it out. And rolls out of it right there, getting up to one knee. Kaylin standing in the middle of the ring. Kimberly now making her way back up to her feet. Kimberly and Kaylin staring off right in the center of the ring, getting close to each other right there, and they lock up once again right in the middle of the ring. Very evenly matched so far throughout this uh, throughout this match. Very back and forth, that's for sure. Yeah. Both women seeming to have uh, Kimberly, very very similar I styles. I Kaylin outside the ring. It looks like it looks like Kaylin might have. Uh, she slid, slid outside. Out, yeah. She slid out, but Kimberly right on the attack. She ran out of that ring fast. Got down in a nice cross right into it. Now she lifts her up and slams her right down into the mat. And Kimberly backs off, leaning on the commentary table here right in front of us. And the count is up to four, as Steve has learned to count from last week. But like you said, she, she whips. Kimberly whips Kalen. Kalen just slides in front of the ring, gets outside, but Kimberly goes right after, and the count is up to six. This is going to need to be stopped. Kimberly picks her up and throws Kalen back into the ring. Kimberly now back up against the commentary table here right in front of us. Kimberly comes charging back into the ring as well. Both of them back in the ring. Kimberly climbs in, gets her hand over one. Only a one count. Kaylin is able to kick out, and Kimberly instantly gets right back up. These women finding energy from places I do not understand. That's what they got to do, though. They got to they got to scratch and claw and keep moving forward in their match. And they, you know, it's a very interesting match so far. Very back and forth. These ladies are definitely showing me something. Yes, they are. Kimberly lifts Kaylin up. Kaylin shoves her off. Says, "Get off me." Kaylin grabs her, hip toss, tosses Kimberly right over her hip. After shoving her off, after Kimberly lifted her up, now Kaylin makes her way over to the ropes, and Kimberly is getting up, showing some more energy, tapping her leg, showing that she is frustrated, that she is ready. She's now back up to her feet, Kaylin up to her feet as well, standing up against the ropes, both women off across, and Kimberly comes charging in, and Kaylin with a clothesline. Yes. Very, very, very nice move there. Kaylin waited, allowed Kimberly to get in close, and she hits the clothesline using all of Kimberly's momentum against her, just sticking her arm out and kind of throwing it right there. Kimberly down on the ground. Kaylin Kaylin's got to stay on her, though. Can't give Kimberly too much time. Now, we've seen Kimberly find energy and just strength from somewhere. But right here, Kaylin, front face lock, pulling her into the middle of the ring, and you wonder what she has on her mind. Steve is checking in there for a choke. Oh, what a German right, suplex. He's able to reverse it and go straight in for a German suplex. Kaylin had her headlock in the middle of the ring, and Kimberly's able to swing around behind her, throw her over. Kimberly falls down against the ropes. And Kaylin now grabbing 
and if kneeing, kneeling right in the middle of the ring, getting back up to her feet as well. Kimberly using the ropes to assist her. Kimberly up. Kaylin turns around. Kaylin lifts her up back to back. Slams her right down into the mat. Huge move connected. And you wonder if that could be it. That move definitely looks painful. Flips her over. Under hook. Drops her right down on her head. Surprising strength right there. Kaylin throws her into the corner. Kimberly now looking like she is in trouble. Kaylin gets up and starts raining down punches over and over and over right into the face of Kimberly after the huge back-to-back -back double underhook suplex. She turns right around and rains 10 strong punches right into the face. Around this is that knee. fierceness I was talking about earlier with Kaylin. She will not let up on Kimberly Lenato. Exactly. I agree with you 100%. She got the advantage, and now she's just delivering pain. She turns her head around and bangs her head right into the turnbuckle. Now, Kaylin pulling Kimberly into the middle of the ring. Steve had the count up to four, told him to break it. Kaylin asking if Kimberly's had enough, pulling her right to the center of the ring, just kind of jerking on the neck, and Kimberly shoves her off right there with a left cross. With a right punch as well, and right there with that head. Can get down the ground. So Kimberly working now to fight out of the hole that she was in. Comes off the ropes, back into the middle of the ring. Kaylin is right there waiting. Kaylin grabs, puts her head over, and slams her right down to the ground. And oh, she got her arm, her arm out. bar, it looks like. Got her in an arm bar. Rough check. He's got this it. Could He's be got the end of the match. Right into the middle of the ring. And this could be the end of the match. This could be the end of the match. Kimberly yelling for arm. And Caitlin definitely has it locked in. She has her arm. She has her legs wrapped around her body. And she is pulling on the arm. She is pulling on the arm right now. Caitlin is telling her, you need to tap. You need to tap. You need to tap. And Kimberly is right in the middle of the ring yelling, yelling that she is not going to give up. And right there, Kimberly gives, and we are going to have, there it's it is. over. Right there, it is over, ladies and gentlemen, a huge. Very nicely done by Kaylin, very wow. nicely. I haven't seen a submission victory in a long time. Kaylin comes out, delivers a lot of damage. And gets technical at point. This crowd is erupting right now. never seen him so. <laughs> but now introducing his opponent from Granite City Illinois standing at <laughs> saying Glenn's gonna win what'd you say that you said that Glenn's gonna win yeah I actually think that Glenn could win over Michael Carson because Michael Carson is garbage he is absolute garbage. He sucks. He's boring. He's, you know, he just, he's horrible. Great. Tell me how you really feel. Bro, there are a lot of kicks to the leg right there. A couple of kicks to the leg from Michael, followed by kick to the leg from Glenn as well. Glenn right there with a nice kick to the five, so being very technical on the lower body. Glenn comes off the ropes, comes charging back in. Michael grabbing on his thigh right there. Lifts up and a drop kick right to the face. Knocking Man, Glenn down. Cheer for this piece of garbage. Y'all need help. You guys need help. You too, Matt. You need help. Hey, I'm in. I, I'm unbiased here. Michael comes charging again, going for the clothesline. Glenn slides up under, showing smarts right there. Glenn turns around. Michael comes right back into the middle of the ring, waiting.
And a rebound DDT right there as he throws Michael down to the ground. See that? Wind comes off. You see that? Perfect yeah. execution. Yeah. Been very even so far for even score. Right now, Glenn making his way up to his feet. Michael still down. A huge DDT from Glenn. Michael laid out in the middle of the ring. Stomp, Glenn, stomp. Michael. Working his way back around to the legs. And there's one thing. Arson. There's one thing I haven't taught Michael Carson. That's on how to be a bitch because he kind of learned that on his own. <laughs> you you make me smile, Braid. You make me smile. Glenn pulling Michael up to his feet. Isn't that nice? Michael goes right there for the kick, but it is caught by Glenn. Glenn holding on to the leg of Michael. Michael kind of just bouncing right there in the middle of the ring. But Michael turns right around. See that? Gary you see that right Michael there? What Michael face. Carson just did? I saw him. Braden Carson taught him. That. I took him underneath my wing. Michael, I told him that. Teach, Michael needs to teach you how to win some belts. Trust me, I have my fair share of titles. <laughs> yeah. Right there, Michael now lifting Glenn up. But in any case, very, uh, very good. Going to be interesting. I'm going to personally enjoy uh, seeing you and Michael go at it because I think you, know, you two are uh, very talented in the ring. So it's going to be uh, make for great, great matches here at uh, ACW Sabotage. Glenn comes off the ropes after the kick to the gut to Michael, making his way back into the middle of the ring. And Michael comes in with a clothesline and knocks Glenn right down to the ground. He said a height and weight difference is here in favor of Michael both ways. It's sickening. These people are actually cheering for Michael Carson. How can you cheer for someone well, this I mean, boring and this, you know, he's a piece of garbage. Well, he's garbage. Is, are they cheering for Michael? Or are they just cheering for the fact that Glenn's on the ground? I mean, you're not really pulling for Glenn. You just want Michael to I always want Michael to lose in everything that he does. He's a loser, that's why. No, that's See, I took the back record. I told him mean. that too. That is mean. You're a mean person. I'm a very mean person, thank you very much. And I take great pride in being a mean person. I'm glad you're, 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 you're a mean person. Goes down for the pin, only to a two count, and Glenn they kick it out. Michael now standing in the middle of the ring. Glenn down. Michael drops to a knee. Eases his way away from Glenn right down to the feet. You know, it always puts a smile on my face just to piss someone off. I love it. You did it. You have definitely accomplished that last week. Michael goes right in for the headlock, turns around, goes right to the hammer lock, holding on to it. But a snap mare performed from Glenn as he turns Michael right over his shoulder. Michael was too slow right there. Uh, Michael hop right back up, comes off of the ropes, comes charging back into Glenn. Glenn goes for the clothesline. Michael slides up under. Michael's in right behind Glenn. Glenn turns around. Michael comes off the ropes right back into the middle of the ring right there. He goes for a huge clothesline. Throwing all of his body weight into it and sending Glenn flipping through the air. Maybe he was a little slow at the beginning. Nice but, first, but again, I taught him. I taught him everything he knows. Oh, you should be proud. Why are you so angry? Because it makes me sick that these people are actually cheering for this guy. Maybe if you liked them, they wouldn't cheer for him. Maybe they're just go. Maybe they're just cheering because they know it aggravates you. And you being he aggravated makes liking makes Michael happen. Carson. That'll never happen. Hell, he'll, he'll, he'll freeze over if that happens. You know, they feel how you feel. They're cheering him because it's pissing you off, and they like pissing you off. Well, I like pissing them off, and you're gonna, definitely going to see more of that. Trust me. Good. Yeah. All the more reason for everybody to be here Tuesday night, starting at five. <laughs> Right there as Michael gets knocked down to the ground. Glenn lifting Michael up into the middle of the ring. Very even back and forth match right here. Michael thrown into the corner by Glenn. Glenn stand up in the middle of the ring looking at Michael. Michael will press up into the corner. Glenn backs out, stands in the middle of the ring, contemplating what he wants to do, comes charging in. Glenn saying, Glenn saying, time for corner knee assault. 
suplexes, leans down, wraps his knee right around, hooks the leg and starts flanking on the knee, using the ropes as to his advantage. Nicely done. Drop nice kick done. Keep it up, Richard. Keep it up. Drop kick right to the knee, using the ropes, helping to get leverage, cranking on the knee, then a drop kick right to it. And I'm telling you, Michael has no chance against this guy. None whatsoever. Glenn throws him upside down, hanging him by his feet. Tree of woe. Glenn backs out, comes off of the ropes, comes charging in toward Michael. And goes right in there for a nice drop kick right to the midsection, knocking Michael down flat on his face, right into the middle. Right to the midsection of my Michael, Michael was there. after that. Right to the face. One foot on the chest, one foot on the face, and knocks Michael straight down to the ground. You can see his head went back up under the bottom turnbuckle. Glenn reaches down, grabs the leg, and starts to pull Michael up to the middle of the ring. Michael now laid out. The smaller Glenn now in control of this match to the delight of Braden sitting here next to me. Michael is just about as well as stay on the mat like he is right now because he knows he's going to lose. He stop knows it. To the ground. Nice stop right there. Glenn needs to take advantage of the fact that he has Michael down, though, because what we do know about Michael and what we have seen from him in the past is that all it takes is that little... Time, that little bit of space, that little opportunity. He can try and flips up, goes right for the standing moonsault. An athletic and impressive move right there. And it connects as he slams down right into Michael. Flat footed standing moonsault. Flip slams right down across Michael. And it's not looking good for Carson right now. Glenn stand. Goes down for a pin. What looks like a pin. One. Now lifting him up. Right now, Glenn in full control of this match. As he throws Michael back into the same corner that he attacked them in earlier. Michael leaned up into the corner. Glenn standing in the middle of the ring. Glenn coming, charging in, leans up for the rising star DDT, and he pulls him right down, right into the right into the mat, face first, comes running in, jumps up, grabs the head, pulls it down, and Glenn rolls up onto his feet, and Michael Carson face plant, face down in the right into the corner. Glenn drops. To That's one a good thing, no, That's a good thing. Very Michael impressive. Carson playing it on that mat is a great thing. Very impressive move right there from Glenn. Impressing me very much so, pulling Michael now into the middle of the ring. Glenn has been in control of this match for the vast majority of it. He comes in for the rolling bridge, and it is his connected. It's over. One, two, hand coming down, and Michael kicks Come on. out. The ref needs to open his eyes. Thought it was a three. Hand coming down. Michael said, no, 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 not today. And he kicks out there. But a flurry of moves from Glenn, and Michael has not mounted any offense recently in this match. Now Glenn going back again, grabbing the leg. Very frustrated by that. And he goes in and drops the elbow right across the knee. Right there, another elbow right to the knee. Break his damn nope. legs. Both the back and forth, attacking both knees. Left knee, right knee, left knee, right knee. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Who taught you how to sing? Because you, you suck at it, so. Nobody. Glenn now leaning down, grabbing the foot again, and completely attacking the lower body of Michael recently here in this match, pulling Michael over toward the ropes. Wonder what he has in mind. He's been very successful with everything he has tried to attempt in this match. 
Michael really not mounting much of anything. Got his leg propped up against the ropes. You wonder what Glenn has in mind. He's saying time to crash a star. Then comes rolling in, crashing star. He oh, goes right across the leg. Nice. Very creative. As the leg propped up on the ropes, comes rolling in, crashing star right into the knee, and there's no way Michael's going to be able to stand after that. If the elbows to the knee were not enough, that definitely has to be it, especially for the for the left knee of Michael Carson, the one that was propped up right there. Glenn standing, Michael down on his attack, and you see so, an excruciating so, thing. Michael Carson is not going to be able to come back from this. Brayden saying that Michael cannot come back from this. I would like to see him win just to aggravate you. Well, he's not going to win. There's no possible chance he's, chance he's going to win at all, now, period. None. When we're having the injured left leg of Michael pulling him into the middle of the ring, Glenn in full control. That's what shocks me more than anything in this match is the control. I mean, just the dominance that Glenn has had through this entire match so far. Fans imploring, begging for Michael to get up, to show some fight in this match because it has been all Glenn right now. And he lifts him up, and he's starting to crank on the left leg still right there attacking it, the snapping star. And we wonder, are we going to see the second submission victory it's in over. the middle of the ring? He is Michael, cranking on it. Well and Might I don't, well honestly don't know how Michael has not tapped, but he's starting to pull his way slowly toward the rope. Gets to the middle, but he can't move anymore. Slowly making his way, but Glenn is cranking on the injured leg. That is the left knee, the same one that the crashing star came into earlier. And he gets over and he gets to the ropes. Michael is on the ropes and it's going to be a break. It's going to be a break. Steve's saying to break it. And, of course, Glenn is going to use all of this count up to three before he lets go. Counts up to four. And right there, Glenn lets it go. I don't There's think Michael no will be able to walk after this match. There's no way. There is no way that he's going to be able to walk after this match. That left leg. Definitely going to have to have some medical attention. Glenn now getting into the face of, of the ref. I would say, you know, normally that's an opening for the uh, for the other wrestler, but there's no way that Mike can even move. How this thing isn't already ordered is beyond me. Glenn making his way up to the top ropes. But Michael somehow climbs up to his feet right as soon as Glenn... Gets to the top rope, favoring that left knee, though. Michael comes in, climbs up really fast, and he throws it, flips him right over, right off of the top rope. Michael finding some way, some way to utilize his feet right there. Blaine gets up there. Where are you going? Where are you going? Blaine. Definitely to get a closer look here on that. But Michael coming out of nowhere. Complete just taking a beating and Braden has a steel chair. Steve, Steve, turn around. Steve, trying to get his attention. Braden has a steel chair what? in the ring, has left the commentary table right there behind the referee. Braden trying to give a cruel intention. Steph to the left knee of Michael being exposed right Right there, right to the back of the official, knocking Steve out. But that is going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. The official is out. We need somebody from the back to come in here. Braden tosses the chair down into the ring, makes his way back over here, sitting next to us. I don't even have anything to say to you. Anymore. I have nothing to say. I told you. Michael does not stand a chance at winning this match. So your brilliant I told idea you. is to take the to take the uh, the rep out, right? Ultimate opportunist. I had and, to do what and, I had to do. Instead of taking him and Michael out, you just go after. That's. I think you need to rethink your plan. I don't think. I don't think it was thought through. 
I had to do what I had to do. Michael finds his way back up to his feet, though, and Steve definitely out cold. Needs somebody from the back to come down here right now and check on check on Steve as Braden left from the commentary table, went up there, chair shot right to him, and I don't even I don't even have anything to say. At a loss for words right now. Michael gets up looking at both of them down. Person. Michael shocked, not knowing what went on. The fact that his brother for the how, uh, how right. you've gone about I, I tried business. telling everybody that Michael does not stand a chance at winning this match. He doesn't. Well, Steve is making his way up to his feet. Glenn still down. Michael definitely favoring that left leg. Steve is up. Steve asking what that was. And what it was was a chair shot. From Braden, I was trying to get Steve's attention, but I did no such thing. Over the the roaring of the crowd, Steve was unable to hear me imploring for him to turn around. Which I mean, thank goodness it would have been a shot right to the face. And Glenn is saying that Michael hit Steve and Glenn with the chair. Glenn is trying to talk his way into a victory here. Steve is calling for the bell, and right there, <laughs> lost by disqualification in the dumbest ending I've ever seen. Wow. Yeah, which is uh, sneak up behind people and push people and not really do anything except just be a pain in everybody's butt. Bree Fox versus Kristen for the ACW Women's Championship, and that match comes to you right now as maybe we can get a referee who doesn't believe what blonde haired beauties say to him. And introducing first and ladies and gentlemen, like we said, this is for the first ever Hey, Steve. And her opponent, you thought Grease gets out of the ring. This woman's about to drive you insane. From Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, standing at 5 feet 7 inches tall. And a weight that is not going to be told to you guys. Women are here. I didn't do such a thing. Yeah. Don't want you to talk. Hey, the good thing is it's all recorded, so you know you definitely can put out a call they want and watch uh, watch a cheap shot. The referee. Not even I got a cheat shot, Michael. Uh, uh, I'm gonna get Steve's big head. To lose. I did what was necessary. Yeah. Took the freaking cheap way out, as usual. Should be expected with somebody like you. Let me ask you a question. You hate me? But, but hurt individual? I don't hate you. Well, I don't hate well, anybody. You too. What? I said you need to hate me. Uh, that's what you're wanting? Then I'm not going to hate you. Hate's a strong word. I just dislike their actions. I hate people. That's just how I am. Apparently you hate the back of Steve's head as you took the chair to it. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, you as Bree sets into the corner, as she did the prior to last week, trying to get a little meditating in there. Christy, Kristen, excuse me, waiting in the middle of the ring. Ah, ring, Bree up to her feet now, and this is our main event for the Women's Championship from Huntington Beach, California. Bree Fox from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Uh, Kristen. And the bell has been rung. And, of course, Bree is uh, 
patting was weird already, tilting her head, smiling, talking to herself, freaking weirdo. But Chris is going to come charging in right there. And this is a up in the corner. fight to be Fox. He, he has to be aggressive, and this, this is for the championship, ladies and gentlemen. And the ones who are here can, of course, say that they were in attendance for the first ever ACW title match. And it happens to be for the women's championship. Kristen now forcing Bree back into the corner. Pushing her up against the ropes. Both of them have locked up. Neither one really giving in right now. Kristen's Bree definitely got the size advantage. And Bree just shoves Kristen off with a nice, strong kick to the gut. Kind of knocking, kind of fight her way out of the corner. Knees right to the face. And it's going to transition right over. Lifting her up, putting her off, and slamming her back oh. down. Rebound suplex. Nice. That's why I think Bree Fox is going to win this match. Right there. We just saw it. Smart, crazy, and effective. Goes down, hooks the leg really close to the ropes, though, and you wonder if it's even going to get a count. Yep, grabs the ropes. Grabs the ropes as it came down to one. <coughs> Good job by Kristen to realize where she was uh, and just grab the ropes. Steve is a little bit shaken up. Yeah, I wonder why. Yeah, no, I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah I'm sure you don't. Sure you don't. Right there, Bree grabbing the hair of Kristen, now lifting her up onto her feet, standing behind her, and Bree telling her to come with her, pulling her right into the middle of the ring. But, you know, Kristen does have the size advantage here, definitely in height. But Bree right up behind her and puts her in the full Nelson. Going really, really old school here, utilizing the strength that she does have, which we saw earlier. Turns around. Kristen goes right there with a kick right to the gut. Nice little mule kick. Bree had her in the full Nelson, and Kristen just turns back, lifts her leg up, and just gets her right in the midsection. Right there, five, nice cross. Kristen, any time. But she missed on the cross, and, she, and Bree tosses Kristen into the ropes. Bree standing, and Kristen kind of catches herself on the ropes, and Bree comes charging in, clothesline, and throws her over the ropes. But Kristen is able to grab on instead of falling down outside. She's able to hang on to the ropes. A clothesline from Bree sending Kristen over the ropes, but Kristen able to save it before she falls down to the ground. Bree comes charging in, but Kristen grabs Bree's hair and throws her over the ropes. Kristen drops down onto the apron, and Bree falls all the way down to the mat outside. Ref now starting to count. Kristen back up into the ring. Bree coming charging in there, and really smart by Kristen, not only to, to keep herself from falling down after the big clothesline from Bree, but to be able to grab the hair of Bree and just toss her out of the ring. And Bree walking around saying it's not fair. Like a bag of potato chips. Talking to herself. Freaking weirdo. Count is up to five, and Bree is pacing around. Kristen now mocking her, saying that she's going... Actually, and I don't know about what to do with her, my pr freaking weirdo guys. I'd say Brie Fox is oh, crazy. She's a psychopath. Dude, I, don't, I don't like it. Man, something's wrong with that girl. Weird. Then you got personality disorders and schizophrenia and paranoia and all them other things that can be wrong with you. If something can be wrong with you, she's got it. Right there with a nice elbow drop after Kristen puts Bree to the ground. And now Kristen on the attack, lifting Bree up in the middle of the ring. Turns around, toss Bree into the ropes. Bree comes and grabs herself onto the ropes. Actually holds on there instead of rebounding back to Kristen. Kristen sits there, waits. Bree holding onto the ropes, grabbing onto the ropes. And Kristen just kind of standing there, kind of shocked. <laughs> so what's going on? Bree calling a timeout. <laughs> just kind of taking a nap.
saying that she needs a break. And Kristen's letting her have it. She's not even attacking her right now. Say, she's doing what she's got to do. Who, Kristen or Bree? Bree! I must say, Kristen needs to be attacking Bree right now. It's calling a timeout. This isn't football. I need a timeout, coach. Need some water breaks. Now, Bree. Maybe she's stuff. having a little chit chat with the voices inside her head right now. Probably. You never know, that girl. Exactly. Now, Bree comes out of the ropes and Kristen comes in. And they're locked up right there in the middle of the ring, kind of pushing each other. No one's giving up any ground at all. And as we saw with a lock up in the corner to start the match, neither one of these women wanted to give any ground because this is for the championship. And a stock belly to belly suplex from Kristen. Kristen showing strength right now as she is looking to dominate this match. Kristen's definitely got the size advantage over Bree. Yes, she does. Bree's got to use her speed. She's got to use those voices inside her head to dig deep down inside oh, okay. and bring out the psycho. I'm telling oh. you, that'll give her the win. That's for sure. 480 of them. Kristen off the ropes, but Bree turns around with a bicycle kick right to the face. And she puts Kristen down. Like you said, that timeout might have uh, given her a minute of speed to... One of those. Beautiful bicycle kick and goes right to the wrist lock, but Kristen flipping around, getting out of it, turns it around on Bree. Now she holds Bree's arm up in the air right now, and she Bree tosses Kristen into the ropes. Kristen comes back, goes for the clothesline, and she rolls through it as she connects. Puts Bree down on the ground, and Kristen has been mounting a lot of offense here. Kristen up, Bree down on the mat. He said, ladies and gentlemen, this is for the ACW Women's Championship. The winner will be the first ever ACW champion. This match right here, you get to write history. In the history books of ACW. Yep, you will be the first. And now is their defining moment. This thing goes in for the German suplex. And she just tosses Bree over his shoulder. But Bree's able to get right back up. And Chris falls down as well. Grabbing her midsection, crawling away. And now Bree is right behind her. Comes in. Dream Street connects. Wraps her arm around the throat. Slams her down. Exhausted. Goes to the pin. Do you wonder if maybe she stole it one? Two hand coming down for three and Christy able almost, to kick out. Almost three though. We almost had a new uh, or a women's heavyweight champion. Yeah, we did. I guess you could say. Well, three. I should say women's champ because they're not heavyweights. Bree coming in there with a nice move right out of nowhere, puts her down and gets the near fall. But maybe she has stolen one there for a second. But Kristen turns right around with a jawbreak after being lifted up by Bree. Turns around, chin to the top of her head, and pulls her straight down. And she sits down, and Bree rebounds back onto her back in the middle of the mat. And Kristen back up to her feet. Bree takes advantage for a little bit, but then Kristen turns right back around and gets right back on top. Kristen telling her to go sell crazy somewhere else. As now she lifts Bree up. But Bree rolls her up ten and hands one, two, coming down as she kicks out. Close call after close call. Wow. A lot of action here in us, as you would expect, because it's all on the line, ladies and gentlemen, for the title. Kristen, as we said, finding ways to continually be in control of this match so far. Kristen is saying that she just will not stay down. Of course, Bree's not going to give up because there's a thousand different voices in her head. Bree just shoves yeah, her off to get off me. Too. But Kristen comes back with a right, right to the face. And Bree is dazed, right in the middle of the ring. But Bree is always dazed. Kristen comes charging in, turns around, spinning elbow right to Spinning the face. elbow and puts right Bree to Bree's face. Puts Bree That's going right to be Mark. Again. Yes, it is. Now Kristen goes down, pin, hooks the leg, rolls up, got good leverage. One, two, coming down, three. Does not connect. 
She's able to kick out right there. I thought that was going to be a three. Hand coming down, almost hits the mat, but at the last second, she's able to kick out. And Kristen having two near falls after the pin roll up and the spinning elbow right there. Kristen leans down now, lifting Bree up, throws Bree into the corner. Bree up in the corner. Kristen in the middle of the ring. Kristen, you better be careful because you don't know who you're talking to when you're talking to Bree Fox. Very Could be true. a million other people. Kristen comes charging in right there. Bree slides out of the way, and Kristen's going to crash right into the turnbuckle. Kristen now in the corner. Bree has reversed it. Bree's down on one knee right in the middle, but Kristen hops up to the top turnbuckle. Bree down on one knee, turns her head, looks up Bree. Kristen comes charging in right there from the cross the body, but it's caught. And Bree showing strength, catches, and just throws her right over her shoulder. Like you said, you know, sometimes when you're in full control and you, you take that that uh, that extra risk, throwing them into the corner, creating that separation, not staying on them, you give the opportunity for them to come back. Absolutely. Break goes down. Pins are one, two, and just lifts her up. That's not even let there be three reasons. She's not finished, even though Steve didn't count. But, but So I guess it really wasn't a pin. But Brie goes down, now lifting Kristen up, and the tide may be turning in this match. Kristen thrown into the ropes, comes back to the middle. Brie right there waiting. He lifts her up, back by the drop, and she tosses Kristen into the air, and she crashes down into the match. Very nicely and done by Brie Fox. Fox. Very, very, very impressive by both women here in this match, showing you why this is for the Women's Championship. Bree now on the ropes. Kristen on the ropes. Kristen's back turned to Bree. Bree making her way to the middle of the ring. Now crossing the middle of the ring. Goes out onto the apron. Kristen's head is over the edge. You wonder what she has in store here. Kristen says she's fine. She needs a uh -oh. second. But she grabs uh -oh. her. She's pulling her down. And she's using the ropes to choke her. Pulling her down. And no count was had as she lets her go. And Kristen falls back. But her head was across the ropes, and Bree came around, reached her hand around the head of Kristen, choked her with the ropes, falls to her knees, and now Bree has that smile on her face. That, that maneuver that really hurt someone. And Steve wasn't even on it, and I'm going to blame that on you if she would have gotten injured. Blame it on Bree. me? Yeah. And hit him the head with a table. Do nothing, pump. Huh? Yep. Bree up to the top ropes, Kristen. Days in the middle after the after the uh, dirty move on the outside there, using the ropes to choke. Bree comes in with the flying double knees, and they connect right to the face of Christy. And Bree just rolls right over, right into the other corner. And Bree goes up to the top again. Christy still down. This chick at the is crazy. Team. Bree. Channeling all of them voices in her head. Count is up to two. She comes flying in with a flying splash. And they get the last second. Kristen lifts her leg up. Bree, knee, excuse me, boot right to the face. Bree comes in with a flying splash, and Kristen just holds her foot up and right to the face. Kristen, at the last second, is able to get her foot up and it connects right flush to the face of Bree. Creating the opportunity now. Bree up back into the corner. Christy now up in the middle of the ring. Bree working her way out of the corner. Both women easing toward each other. The duration and the intensity of this match definitely you can definitely tell on their faces. That both women are very hungry for this championship. Yes, she can. Right here, they lock each other up, and neither one giving an inch. Right there, elbow strike from Bree. A second elbow strike and a spinning back kick. And Christy, Kristen is dazed. Right in the middle for Bree off of the ropes, comes charging in. Bree, but right there, Kristen with the with the drop kick right to the face. Bree with a nice elbow strike, spinning back kick, comes off the ropes right to Kristen. And Kristen says, hello, meet the bottom of both of my boots and puts her back to the ground. Now This Kristen is the defining moment right here. Yes, it is. Kristen has the opportunity. She's right now lifting up Bree, but Bree fights out of it. 
elbow strike. Now she throws Kristen into the ropes. Kristen making her way back. Bree leans her head down. Sunset flip over. And Kristen's got her pinned down. One. But Bree is able to kick out. Oh, uh, only one. Very it's nice. Long one. Still in this one. Bree is able to kick out right there after just a one. Bree had leaned down and Kristen flipped over and went for the sunset flip, but she was able to kick out. Bree now easing her way up to her feet. Kristen down in the middle of the ring. And as you said, that was a defining moment. But now Kristen is on the ground and Bree is standing. Bree now lifting Kristen up. Kristen shoves her off. Going in for the kick, but Bree's caught it. We saw this in the last match. Kristen hopping in the middle of the ring, and Bree has her, has hold of her foot. Now Bree is laughing. And if you're Kristen, you cannot feel good about that. Grabs it, lifts over with a dragon screw yeah, leg whip. Nice. Bree, just like we said, with that kind of gaze, like she's not even looking at Kristen. Almost through her laughing. You know, those voices are telling her, are driving her right now. She goes in for the pin. One. And that's going to be it. Just the one right there. Chris is able to kick out. Didn't figure that the leg, sweeping the leg like that was going to be enough. But Both these women are showing what it takes to be champion right now. Yep, now Bree up on Very her feet forward. over here. Kind of looking out, using, catching her breath on the rope. Something you cannot do. She's taking, <laughs> taking a break in the middle of a championship match. You would uh really, really talking to herself. Do you think that will work? She nods. She's talking to herself. She's game planning. Bree has so many people in her corner right now. We don't even know. Bree now makes her way back over. Kristen's down. Now picks her up. Count was up to three. Bree throws her into the ropes. Kristen makes her way back to Bree. Right there. And Brie catches her in the sleeper hole, and she's got her right in the middle of the ring. Right and just are going to end by submission because Brie has Kristen in the sleeper hole. And she is definitely right. She is just wrenching the neck. She has it in, and Kristen is unable to move. She moves. She squirms, but she's not moving, going anywhere. She's telling her sleep well. Pretty little Kristen. And Brie easing her down as you see that Kristen is starting to fade definitely starting to fade and she's not even moving anymore Steve's getting in there seeing if she's done Bree has her this right in the it. middle lets her go she rolls her out we wonder if Steve is that going to be it is she done Bree telling for him to count to make sure that she's out count is one Count is two. Telling her to tell him to count faster. But Kristen moving a little bit. Starting to stir around. Count is four. Count is five. Count is six. Kristen starting to move. Count is seven. You wonder if she's gonna be able to make it up. Turns over onto her stomach. Count is eight. Gets over to the ropes, and she's gonna be able to get up in two. Count apparently has stopped She's at eight. She's up on her feet, though. She's up on her feet. Count stopped at eight right there as Kristen finds a way onto her feet. Bree not happy with the counting expertise of the uh, previously injured Steve Boston. Bree now over to the back of Kristen. Kristen used the ropes to assist herself up. Count got all the way to eight. Bree thought it was over. She thought she had the championship. She felt she tasted the women's title. She could feel the gold around her waist, but it was not to be, not yet at least. Standing right behind Kristen. Kristen using the ropes. <clears throat> Finally being able to breathe. Priest playing peekaboo. And right there, Kristen turns around with a strong oh. spinning elbow. Oh. Elbow right there. Bree dazed in the middle of the ring, and Kristen standing right in front of her. And you wonder, like you said, big opportunity, big time. This is where you win your championship. It's you definitely the defining moment. On the line. Bree tossed into the corner. Kristen comes charging in, and she goes in, raising knee right into the face 
Three pops out of the corner, grabbing onto her head. And Kristen's looking to, to take this match and take the title. Kristen easing over into the corner now. Bree still grabbing on the head, grabbing the back of the neck, grabbing the hair of Bree. He's going to ease her out of the corner, pulling her out into the middle of the ring. Kristen in, in, in control at this very moment, this very back and forth, unpredictable women's title match. It's right there, Bree, Bree shoves her off, tells her to get off of her like she hadn't even been hit before. Kristen says, you want to act crazy? I, I will treat you crazy. And Kristen throws Bree into the corner again after Bree shoves her off. And Kristen comes charging in right there with a boot right to the oh, face. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. And she puts Bree down in the corner. And Kristen looking, feeling the championship is right there. She can get a pin. Lifting Bree up. Back of the neck again. Going to pull her out of the corner. Pulling her out of the corner, back into the middle of the ring. I kind of see her, like to see her just string a few things together and end this. Finish her. Bree is saying that we could have been friends. Kristen says, I think we're done. Kick to the gut. Bree right there. Kristen turns her over, lifts her up, drops her down with a kudo driver, and that could be it, ladies and gentlemen. This place going absolutely right crazy right now. Breathe down. Kudo driver hit. Kristen standing over her. Only three count away from victory. Ten. Hook the leg. Roll over. Her over. Steve gets down on one, two, three. And that's going to be over. it. Ladies Shit, man. and gentlemen, your first ever ACW Apex Championship Wrestling Women's Champion will be Kristen and the thousands of voices and green heads could not wake her up from the pseudo driver and we have to Kristen in the championship the title the world right now belongs to Kristen on the women's side here Apex Championship Ladies and gentlemen, we just want to thank every single one of you for coming up tonight for the great, great show. Congratulations to Hollywood for his win versus Kyle and Jamal and the Chicago Red and Carlos Song. The first ever ACW Yeah, she definitely knows history. And remember every Tuesday night, 5 p.m. The best that has been on Tuesday night. We will see you next week. But we're all going to go to Christmas party. As she walks out of here, the new, the first, the ACW Women's Champion. Have a great night. We will see you next Tuesday at 5.